So just to highlight the importance of vitamin D in the aging process, these mice here are the same age. The mouse on the left here is vitamin D deficient, and the mouse on the right has normal levels of vitamin D, and they're about four and a half months old here. Here are the same mice four months later. So the vitamin D deficient mouth, mouse looks pretty gnarly. I'd say that's probably an understatement. Um, but it's, there's tons of different multifunction uh, you know, dysfunction going on where you know, it, it, there's a variety of different genes, 900 different genes are being dysregulated and that's affecting the way this mouse is aging. And what's really terrifying is that the most recent uh, survey by NHANES found that 70% of the US population does not meet the requirement for adequate levels of vitamin D, 70%. So to me, that's terrifying, but why is that? So vitamin D, we can make it from the sun. Um, we can convert something called 7-dehydrocholesterol in our skin to vitamin D3, but this depends on UVB light. So you need UVB light to interact in order to convert this, this cholesterol into vitamin D. But things like sunscreen and dark skin color filter out the burning rays of the sun, so they filter out UVB light, but they also prevent the body from making its own vitamin D. Um, in addition to that, high body fat um, can regulate the bioavailability of vitamin D. So vitamin D is fat soluble, it's stored in fat. The more body fat you have, um, the less bioavailable it is to be released into the bloodstream. Vitamin D3 gets released into the bloodstream, and then if, if you're making it in the skin, um, if you're eating it orally, of course, it, it gets absorbed. Um, but then it gets converted into this pre-hormone in the liver and then goes to the kidney where it gets converted into the active hormone which regulates all these genes. So body fat can also uh, affect the bioavailability of vitamin D. In addition to that, age. So the older you are, the less efficient your, your body is at making its own vitamin D from, from UVB uh, light. Um, in fact, a 70-year-old makes one-fourth less vitamin D in their skin than their former 20-year-old self. So all these things are impacting um, the, the micronutrient, the vitamin D deficiency that's very prevalent um, in the United States and actually um, even globally.